Hi, this is Doug with Money Sage. Hey, for those that you've been following me and uh, listening to my videos, you know that I've had an issue with the audio. And I've had to clean it up in post editing. But, you know, when I record, it's been uh, a lot of reverb, a lot of echo. Uh, I've had to turn the gain way up in order to get good sound quality. But actually, now that I've done my treatments and built a, what's called a sound diffuser, I'm actually turning my gain down. So, I started looking online how to make my videos better, sound quality better, and how also the acoustics of the room, okay? So I looked at sound absorption. Um, so I've got, you know, uh, some canvas prints uh, with some sound absorption in them. But I also started looking at sound diffusers. And I saw a bunch of ones on there about wood, uh, making a sound diffusers out of wood, whether it be skinny blocks or, you know, the panels or just square blocks in a lot of them. So that's the direction I decided to go. So I'm gonna show you how I built my sound diffuser out of wooden blocks, and then I colored them, painted them, you're gonna see all that, and I'll show you the finished product at the very end. But also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include down in the description the website that I use it has an online calculator, so you can enter your frequencies in there that you're having a problem with, and it will calculate based upon the size, uh, the, you know, the width and the, the height of the board you've got um, or the room that you got. It'll calculate the number of blocks and what size each block should be and where they should lay out on the board. So you can, it's like a grid pattern. You can lay it out, you glue the blocks down, and you're good to go. And you can do whatever you want with it. But a lot of the ones that I saw, even on uh, other channels on YouTube, or online, you know, they're great for sound studios, you know, when no one's gonna see them, but hey, this is my office. And I really wanted something that was going to complement the colors of my office and look good. Um, so I really wanted it to be a piece of wood art. So that's what I kind of did. I kind of combined the sound diffusion technology along with art um, in order to make it a nice, pleasing, appealing piece of, um, piece of artwork that I'm going to hang on my wall. So you're going to see that in the video here, what I'm going to do. But uh, for you audio files out there, it's not 100% correct, but it's probably 80 to 90% correct if I had to guess, because I'm still using the, the number of blocks and the size of blocks that the calculator came up with. Okay. Uh, if you hit the hit like button below, if you like the video, but definitely subscribe. And hey, here's my build. So I used the website, I got the, the correct build, the, uh, the correct blocks that I needed, and now I'm throwing that into an Excel spreadsheet because um, I want to convert from centimeters to inches. Plus, because I'm making this you know half wood art also, uh, I want to increase some of those links. You know, I don't want to have just four or five um, links. I actually want to have nine to ten links. That way that they're all different and uh, I think the end result will look more pleasing uh, to the eye and uh, also give it a little bit more depth. So uh, here's my Excel uh, spreadsheet, just a, a screenshot of it real quick and what I'm using to lay out my blocks on the piece of wood. So I'm going to stop the build. I'm going to pause it right here. So as you see, I used two different size blocks. So originally I, I started using uh, one by twos and cut them up. I'm sanding them and now I'm entering in two by twos and I'm spreading them out in a pattern um, to make this more like art.
So that was the build, okay? And one thing I remember last night is the original website that I used uh, did show me different size blocks, and I can't find that one anymore, but I did include the one that's the most popular one that I've seen out there, uh, and that will be down in the description. And I went ahead and played with the frequencies based upon the size of the build that I did. That way you'll be able to see uh, exactly what my setup was. And basically what I did is I took that setup, what they had, and I replicated it three times to give me a 35 to 36 inch long um, or wide board instead of a 12 by 12, okay? And then one last thing is uh, my sound quality has gotten a lot better. So I can tell a difference, even just talking on speakerphone with my uh, office phone, is that the sound's not echoing as much now. It's, it's a much clearer sound. I'm not hearing the sound coming back from behind me as much anymore. So, hey, that's a, that's a really good thing. But I used Reclaim Wood for this. The only pieces of wood that I bought brand new was the 1x2s. And I bought two sticks of those, basically. Um, so everything else was reclaimed wood that we had or that we had gotten off of another project. Um, so whether you want to paint yours or stain it or whatever you want to do, uh, if you can use reclaimed wood, you've got it laying around, hey, great. If you got to go buy new, uh, do not buy pressure-treated wood, okay? You do not want those chemicals in your house. Uh, they're meant for outside. So buy just the, the, the plain pine or, or oak or whatever you're going to build it out of. But also be aware of the weight, okay? So my board weighs 34 pounds, almost 34 pounds exactly. So I'm using a 50-pound anchor kit uh, up on the wall in order to hang it, okay? So just be aware of that, where you're going to put it at, how you're going to hang it on the wall. Make sure you're into studs uh, when you put your lag screws in, stuff like that. But anyways, hope you like it. Uh, if you do, hit the like button below and definitely subscribe. Thanks for watching.